Hello and welcome to More Yoga Fitness. My name is Kathy and today we're doing a vinyasa yoga practice outdoors. If you like this practice, please check out the other vinyasa yogas on this YouTube channel. I'll see you at the end. Take a big breath in as you reach up and draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, pressing the air down, hands at the hips. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, thumbs at the heart. Breathe in, overhead. Exhale, twist high, hand front to back. Reaching back, reversing. High twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the other direction. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, high twist. Back to center. Draw your palms together, press them firmly, and your thumb knuckles to your knowledge hump. Bring your elbows out wide and take your gaze up. Slowly release, peace fingers behind the head. Step your feet out into a goddess stance. Coming down nice and low, we're gonna bring our elbow to the top of the right thigh and hold here. Take your gaze over your left elbow. Inhale, center, side B. Breathe in, come back to center, arms to a T, reach behind the ankle on the right, open up floor to ceiling. Inhale, arms T, side B. Breathe in center and interlace the hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, stand up tall, and then forward fold here. Allowing the crown of the head to dangle very heavy toward the earth. Bring your fist away from your lower back. Releasing the hands to the earth. Placing your hand in the center and reaching the opposite arm up overhead, gazing up. Reaching your hand behind the lower back, clasping your fist at your hip. Opening up floor to ceiling and we're gonna switch sides. Gazing up. Half bind behind the low back, making a fist at your hip. Opening up floor to ceiling and coming back to center. Walking your hands to one side of the mat, coming into Ninja Warrior. Your knee is tracking over your big toe. The inner thigh of your opposite leg toward the earth. This is an option, taking a half bind or full bind in this Ninja Warrior. Otherwise, just stay with hands at heart center. Go ahead and make your way into lizard pose. Tall arms. Keep your knee up if you can. Squeeze your glute and your quad. Sliding your leg into a pigeon in the front and lowering down into your version of pigeon. I'm using my forehead and placing it on the earth, or you can fold arms and place it on folded arms. Coming up to tall arms, opening up the neck for a moment, and then taking a twist here, reaching back, gazing back. Perhaps taking a bind here and wrapping your hand around the top of your foot. Increasing the intensity by drawing the heel in closer to your glute. Releasing the foot with gentle and controlled movement. Coming into downward facing dog, pedaling out your dog. Stepping forward and then coming to the opposite side for your ninja warrior. taking the opportunity to either take a half bind or full bind in this Ninja Warrior pose. Go ahead 
ahead and open up if you are bound and bring yourself into lizard pose, tall arms. Heel toeing your foot to the opposite side of the mat and setting up for pigeon here. Lowering the chest down toward the mat to your preference for today's practice. Making your way into tall arms and taking an opportunity to lift the chin and open up your neck. Taking a twist here, reaching for the back of your mat and gazing back at your thumb knuckle. Taking an opportunity to add a bind here, stretching out your quad, drawing that heel closer to the glute. Without slingshotting that foot back with control, allow that foot to come away from the body and press back into downward facing dog. Good job. Walk your hands slowly back towards your feet. Separate your heels hip width apart and take ragdoll here, making that picture frame around the crown of your head. If you need a slight bend in the knees, that's a-okay. You never have to remain still here. You can always find movement. I'm actually taking a variation where I'm wrapping my hands around the back side of my legs. Nodding yes and no is always a good idea if you feel tightness or tension in your neck. releasing the hands to the mat. We're gonna walk our hands to the right side of our foot, keeping the crown of the head bowed down toward the earth. Walk back to center and slowly over to the left. Coming back to center and walking back out to the top of the mat. Finding downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and breathe in balls of the feet. Make your way to the top of your mat. Half lift. Forward fold. Mountain pose. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Make your way to the top of your mat. Half lift. Forward fold. Mountain pose, fold forward, half lift, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Make your way to the top of your mat, lift halfway, fold, mountain, forward fold, lift halfway, and flow through your vinyasa. I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Send your right foot between the hands, rise off the mat, warrior one pose. Interlace the hands behind the back, open your chin and chest. Take this time to really feel that opening in your shoulders. Inhale, arms come overhead, and we'll make our way to the top of our mat, grabbing the peace fingers to big toes, coming into a revolved big toe hold here, a twist in our big toe hold. Gently placing the top of our ankle above the knee coming into standing pigeon. Inhale, release. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, step through your hands. 
warrior one. Interlace behind the back and enjoy this decompression of your spine, lifting your chest, lifting your heart and your gaze. Slowly make your way into big toe hold, extending through the heel and revolving it, twisting into the long leg. Release. Ooh, bringing the ankle on top of the knee, finding your focal point, your drishti, hands come to heart center, sinking your sits bones down into your pigeon standing. Release, inhale, mountain and draw your hands to heart center, making your way into a standing mountain pose, taking some much needed deep breaths here before we move on into our next series of poses. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale as you fold forward. Heel toe your feet out just slightly and come into Malasana, Hindu squat. Hands come to heart center, sitting bones toward the earth. Spreading the fingertips apart and making your way into crow pose. Releasing out of crow. Finding hands at heart center one last time. Make our way on our knees. Inhale, reaching up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center. And we'll extend our leg out to the side as we come into gate opener pose. And then reverse it into a modified plank. Inhale, gate opener. Exhale, side plank. Inhale, gate opener. Exhale, side plank. Hold yourself here in side plank. Open up floor to ceiling with your arms and lifting up your top leg so it's level with the earth. Flex toes to the face. Notice my knee is stacked directly below my hip. Go ahead and take a bind behind, grabbing the top of your foot. Really extend through the kneecap and tilt your pelvis forward. Taking big toe hold here, extending through the heel. Releasing the toe and coming back onto the knees. Breathe in, reach overhead. Hands draw to heart center, setting up for side B. Come into gate opener pose. Exhale, modified side plank. Inhale, gate opener. Exhale, side plank. Breathe in, gate opener. Exhale, side plank, hold here. Reaching the arm up toward the sky. Floor to ceiling with the arms and lifting up your top leg so it's level with the earth. Flex toes to the face. Go ahead and take a bind if that feels good to you. Reaching back for the top of your foot. Extending through the kneecap.
kneecap, tilting your pelvis forward. Release, big toe hold here. Extend your leg and stretch it as long as your body will allow. If you need a big bend in the knee, no worries. Release. Make our way onto our seats, lengthening the legs nice and long. Starting in our half cow face pose. Inhale, reaching the hands up and exhaling as you reach for the sole of your foot. I have my knee stacked upon knee. Continuously trying to bring my chest closer into my lap. Inhale as you reach overhead, interlacing the hands and opening up your neck as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Releasing the hands behind. I'm on my fingertips, keeping the legs crossed, lifting up into a reverse tabletop. Reaching that top leg long if that feels good to you, or you can keep them crossed. And coming back down to the mat, let's do that on the other side, setting up for our half cow face. Flex toes to the face, breathe in, and exhale as you fold forward. Every breath should increase the connection between your chest and thigh. Really try to bind behind the foot, or reach for the pinky toe, or reach for the big toe. Breathe in, reach overhead, and draw your hands behind your back, clasping them, and then lifting your chest and heart as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And the neck is wide open. Release, come to the fingertips, press your way up into that modification of your tabletop, reversed. Option to lift your leg toward the sky, toes pointed. Return back to crossed legs and bring yourself back down onto the mat. We're going to make our way into a dragonfly here. So go ahead and bring your legs as wide as they'll go. Flex toes up toward the sky. Arms come to a T, open the neck. And now we'll bring our chest down toward the earth Maybe support yourself with your forearms and draw the third eye as close as you can to the earth. Maybe you make stacked fists, stacked arms, maybe you use a block, but really try and ground your third eye. Walk your hands back in, inhale, reaching up. Draw the elbows behind into cactus arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Breathe in up. Exhale, down. Breathe in up and bring your hands next to your hips. We're going to fold our legs together here and take some final breaths in seated easy pose. Creating that space, that aura of peace. Knowing you took care of your health and well-being by practicing yoga with me today. together. Draw your thumb knuckles to your third eye. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. The divine light in me honors and respects the divine light in you.